Ona Kona Munde. That means uh, hello, my friends, my relatives. The buffalo mean hope for the future, for future generations. So hope that that uh, the kids uh, come back and, and help out and are drawn in by the buffalo. When we initially started this herd, they brought in 20 cows and two bulls. Now we're six. As you can see, this year we had 26 calves. So the hope, hope for the herd is great. We, uh, we gave away, as, as per our agreement, 20, 20 cows and, and some bulls to Sakame. And uh, now I hear Cody First Nation is, is, is going to have the opportunity for the same agreement. And I hope, I hope that it comes true. And I hope that they do well as we have. We, we've fed our people over the past four, four years off of the extra bulls that we have. And it means so much. When we brought them in, Elders uh, right. because they never thought they would see this again in our lifetime. Long ago, there was 50 million buffalo roaming North America, and in the end, I think we were down to about 550. So to see this back in our community means means a lot, and I would like to thank Lima and uh, Wayne. Ron, the main, the main negotiators in, in bringing these buffalo back to us. And, uh, you know, for a church group to bring in the buffalo like this is uh, very heartwarming for the future. And, uh, we, all, we all pray to the same Creator, the same God. We just do it in different ways. A lot of our ceremonies had to go underground because the church and the government thought they, they could take that Aboriginal out of us and colonize us. And I think Jesus is one of the reserves that they tried that is. But we're still here and the buffalo are back. We're resilient. To have, to have them in our community again means the world to us. And I can't express enough thank you. You know that this this happened. My dad, my dad was the main elder when uh, they brought the buffalo back, and he cried because he never thought he'd see it in his lifetime. And now we have hope for the future, the future generations.